Eddie used to like when I heard a person to sit down and set my shots, not to just swing wildly at him and possibly be in danger of getting caught. A lot of guys, they hurt a person, they just go wild, just start trying to kill the guy, knock, you know, just swinging. And when you're swinging like that and you're not really watching your shots, you're putting yourself in line to be caught. And uh, you've seen it many times. The guy hurts another guy and he starts, he's, he's going in for the kill, to, to, for the finish, and he walks into a shot and gets knocked out himself. And again, that should never happen in boxing. So Eddie used to make me go a whole round after my, my, I go like three rounds in the heavy bag and then my fourth round would be a round of power shots. And what I'm talking about is just separating your shots a little bit. You hurt your opponent, he's on the ropes, and you just want to place your shots and be accurate with the shots. You don't want to be wild with the shots. So Justin, of course, knows this drill because I trained him for many fights. And uh, the thing is, you, you, you want to go with power shots, a whole three minutes of power shots a great workout, okay? And the thing is, if you can't do it three minutes at once, just, again, you can go as long as you can and build yourself up. So on the power shots, they're separated somewhat, okay? You know, bang, the right hand lands here. Bang, bang, bang. Every shot's a power shot. You turn, you got the guy hurt, you're not gonna be flailing recklessly. You're gonna place your shots and see the openings. And I'm going to give Justin a couple minutes of power shots. Show him how it's done, Justin. Thanks, Place your shots and see where they're going. <coughs> see, Justin, he's always got his foot work under him. His balance is good. His punches are sharp. He's punching through his target, and he's using his body weight. Okay, as you can see, Justin's a great puncher. He's very strong, strong heavyweight, a little bit short, but he makes up for it in his power. And you see the transfer of weight in his feet at all times and the good balance at all times. And that's basically the way to hit a heavy bag. You want to work it, it's worth strength and power. Technique is more like the mitts nowadays where I use the heavy bag as a strength and power tool and endurance tool. Because three minutes on this bag is no joke. It's not easy. So, but the thing is you want to build yourself up to that point and then build yourself up to a point where you can do three or four rounds in the heavy bag and then maybe one round of power shot.